You're listening to the Choose Joy podcast, and I'm Tisa, your host. Here at Choose Joy, I pray for you, and we watch God work. Today's prayer meditation comes from Philippians, the fourth chapter. As the Apostle Paul closes out this epistle, he thanks the church for the financial support of his ministry and reminds them of the provisions of God. Our God is faithful to supply seed to the sower and to provide for us when we are in need. It is my prayer for you today that as you meditate on these verses, that you ask God to direct your giving and to bless all that you have received. When we earnestly care for one another, we need not be anxious for anything. Rejoice in the Lord always. Again, I will say rejoice. Let your reasonableness be known to everyone. The Lord is at hand. Do not be anxious about anything, but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known to God. And the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. Finally, brothers, whatever is true, whatever is honorable, whatever is just, whatever is pure, whatever is lovely, whatever is commendable, if there is any excellence, if there is anything worthy of praise, think about these things. What you have learned and received and heard and seen in me, practice these things, and the God of peace will be with you. I rejoiced in the Lord greatly that now at length you have revived your concern for me. You were indeed concerned for me, but you had no opportunity. Not that I am speaking of being in need, for I have learned in whatever situation I am to be content. I know how to be brought low and I know how to abound. In any and every circumstance, I have learned the secret of facing plenty and hunger, abundance and need. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Yet it was kind of you to share my trouble. And you Philippians yourselves know that in the beginning of the gospel, when I left Macedonia, no church entered into partnership with me in giving and receiving except you only. Even in Thessalonica, you sent me help for my needs once and again. Not that I seek the gift, but I seek the fruit that increases to your credit. I have received full payment and more. I am well supplied, having received from Epaphroditus the gifts you sent, a fragrant offering, a sacrifice acceptable and pleasing to God. And my God will supply every need of yours, according to his riches and glory in Christ Jesus. To our God and Father, be glory forever and ever. Amen. Amen.